hey y'all it's your girl simona welcome back to my channel make sure you stay tuned so you can see all the details on how i got this super cute insta let's get into it so today we're working with love me hair you guys they sent over this cute hair look at the packaging it's always the packaging for me like the box the ribbon everything just bomb So let's get into the goodies that they sent over so they did send over this comb y'all i love this comb very much needed and let's go ahead and look in this little goodie bag that they sent and let's see what we got so we got some cute earrings y'all these earrings are super cute these lashes fire look at the 3d lashes y'all and also i just want to let you know when you order you will be receiving the same gifts so as y'all can see i got me a scrunchie and then they did send over these nails these christmas nails So yes, let's go ahead and get into the hair. So they did send over this wig. It's a body wave wig, 16 inches, and it is a closure wig. Look at how it already came. Just the body wave is just already pre-curled. It is super cute. I did want to go ahead and show y'all how the lace look before I go ahead and do my, do my thing to it. So as y'all can see, it does come with all the combs in the inside as well as the elastic bands. But I do go ahead and cut them all out except for the back one just because your girl got a big head. So let's get straight into it. So I do got my ball cap on, y'all. I don't do the best ball cap, but I get the job done. So I do go ahead and color it with my LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Fawn. And then I go ahead and get straight to it. I also colored the lace with that as well. And I did go ahead and just pre like style the wig on the wig cap before putting it on my head it just makes it a whole lot easier so as y'all can see look at the lace it is colored because i went ahead and put the makeup on that as well and now we're going to go ahead and get straight to putting this wig on so i do just like to make sure i put the wig on my head first to see where i want to place it before cutting off all the the um bald cap just because you don't want to cut too much or you don't want to not cut enough you know and then it's like showing out your wig so yeah so i do like to place it first so right now i am going in with my glue y'all i use the same glue each time just because i love this glue y'all i made a mistake <laughs> y'all see i actually got the glue on my head but it's cool it's nothing that you can i couldn't fix so i did just go ahead and still smeared that in but yeah i use the same glue just because this glue does works wonder for me it dries clear and it always gets the job done so it's like why change something when you good so as y'all can see look how clear it is it's clear that's why i'm applying the second layer it dries clear and when it dries clear you want to go ahead and immediately put on that next layer some people put it on when it's already white but to me i just like to put it on when it's clear it just works better for me So you just want to make sure that you are placing the wig in the right spot you don't want to place it too far back y'all and be gluing down that extra lace instead of putting it where the hairline is so you just really want to be careful when you're doing that y'all don't mind my ashy hands it's okay and then i just like to go in with the back of the comb and just press down on it not too much but just give it like a slight press before i go ahead and add my elastic band So you want to make sure that you do clip your hair up first before putting the elastic band because mine has velcro straps and you don't want to make like you want to make sure you're not getting the hair in there especially at this point if you're about to start styling the hair you want to just make sure everything is free and loose and y'all i'm already liking how this look because it's like the length and everything is just really giving a natural look it's just so bomb so i'm going in with my mousse this is my favorite mousse to use y'all if y'all have any other type of mousse go ahead and recommend it down below and then i just go in with the hot comb so when i put the mousse on there i like to go in with the hot comb because it does just give it that more sleek look as you can see the difference from the other side so 
So now it is time to take the elastic band off. And y'all see, look, it wasn't even, the lace wasn't even cut yet. Look at the melt. Just super cute. Like, look at, like, look at that melt. And again, all I did was use makeup. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off camera. But I did want to show y'all how I cut it. And I do do outward cuts. So you can make sure you're not cutting too much off. So I did cut the lace. And I'm going in. Now I need to go ahead and add my edges. And yeah, so we can make it look like some. I make sure to always say this y'all I'm not the best when it comes to edges but y'all but this mini flat iron works wonders so before I go ahead and cut the hair I like to go ahead and just straighten in a little bit with the little flat iron and then I'll go in you know and cut it but I did just want to make it clear that I'm not the best so y'all don't be trying to judge me down there in the comments So I do just like to curl it upward it look crazy right now but when you start to brush it it just brushes right in the place and it just stays there like I didn't even put no product on this brush or nothing like that it really just brushes right into place so that's why I love this mini flat iron because it really just it just makes things a whole lot easier But hold up, but hold up, but look at the lace, y'all. Look at the melt. It looks so good, y'all. This is the end result. This hair looks so freaking good. It's so cute. It's giving me that grown and sexy vibe, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check the description box below.